Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com and it's me Jason Newland and my itchy nose and my little boy Andre who is I think he's a bit tired so I've Possibly he's just going to go to sleep while I talk. You're just going to go to sleep. He was asleep um, underneath the wardrobe. And I think I disturbed him because I went in there. I actually went into the wardrobe and got this jumper thing out, which is it's the first time I've worn it. And it's a little bit. Oops, sorry. I feel like I've got shoulder pads on, but I haven't. Anyway, I'm just going to get a bit closer to the table. So basically, this is just me talking about stuff and it's really just um, the idea behind it is that you can listen or watch only when you can safely close your eyes and the idea is for you to just be nice and bored and to drift off to sleep so of course don't listen to this if you're flying a helicopter or drilling a mine or drilling a mine you know basically so if you're on the surface of the moon doing a, a moonwalk then you know don't listen to this or watch this now I'm recording this live or I'm streaming it live but I know that most people that watch this or listen to this session will be doing so at a later stage you know a time when you're maybe wanting to go to sleep because I know that although it's what time is it now it's it's 1.30, no, it's 1.20 in the morning where I am. But I know that where you are, if you're in America or in Australia, it's possibly in the afternoon, so you might not be wanting to go to sleep. So I say hello to a couple of people that are watching now. I've got Valerie and Rachel. Rachel says she just wouldn't like to go down a mine tonight. No, I'm not in the mood for drilling either. Sounds a bit weird, but yeah, I've, I used to have a friend that was a miner. Well, I mean, he was an adult, but he worked in a mine. But they didn't have minor birds anymore. Because I used to have minor birds in the past. But I did ask him, as I think it was in 19, about 1988, because he was a miner in Nottingham. And I said, do you still take the mining birds down there? And I think he said, no. That was a whole conversation, really. Um, I'd said something to someone today, earlier. I was having a conversation with a friend and I realized that it was the most interesting thing that I had said in over a week. I can't remember what it was. I wasn't interested enough to remember. Can you see his little head there? He's fast asleep absolutely completely asleep 
he's shedding all his uh, hair at the moment because his winter coat's coming in and he's just He's never more than a few seconds away from being fast asleep for some reason. It's that time of the year. He sleeps even more once the weather gets a bit colder. He likes to snuggle up, keep nice and warm, eat lots, and just, I suppose, just kind of semi hibernate, really, I suppose what he does it's like a little bear like a little little cuddly bear don't you so I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about tonight I know that I'm going to have a drink of coke in a minute but I'm going to have to try and find a way to open the can without disturbing this little, this little fellow. <laughs> it's been quite windy here. You know, when I, I got woken up about half one this afternoon, or yesterday afternoon, and I hadn't turned the heating on because I turned it off when I went to bed and the temperature was really changed really it was a, a lot cooler than it has been for some while and it's also quite windy although I don't I don't mind the wind I like wind it's, I like the sound of nature something quite special about it I'm saying that I wouldn't necessarily want to hear a volcano going off that's nature but uh, we don't have those kind of things in my country Rachel asks uh, I thought I was giving up the coke but I've cut down I have cut down I want to try and uh, reduce my waistline a little bit I was, I was sort of looking to lose some weight, but I realized by cutting my hair off and shaving my beard off, I've lost more weight than I would have done if I'd gone to the gym for two, two months. I probably lost quite a lot of weight just by getting rid of that. So I'm thinking about joining the gym. Maybe there's one close by it's not it's not close I mean it's there's a walk or a bus ride or I suppose a car ride car journey but I don't I don't drive but it's probably about 20 minutes plus walking depending on what speed you walk at I've never really been a fast walker. It's not really been on my list of targets, my list of to do things. Just, I mean, I have walked fast, especially when I was working. I just not went out, but there was times when I had jobs that. I'd leave myself not really enough time to get to work by walking comfortably at a walking pace. So I'd end up walking very, very quickly. But I don't feel the need to do that as much as I once did. Although I guess there are times when I'm going to walk for the bus, to catch the bus. But I never really catch it, I just stand there and put my arm out and hope that it stops. A bit too big to catch physically. 
but sometimes I will walk a little bit quicker than is comfortable because if I don't if I miss that bus it's another half an hour till the next one which is uh, not always ideal hello David hello to those that come it's, it's quite um, so I'm broadcasting this live on Facebook but those of you listen to this or watching this on YouTube at a later time or maybe you're listening to this on SoundCloud on I'm just going to put them on the table it's okay open my can of coke that's a nice quiet thing isn't it those of you listening to this on SoundCloud, Spreaker, uh, Spotify, iTunes well, he's all awake now. I'm sorry I woke you up. I know it's supposed to be a sleep session. And then I go and make a big loud noise. A big pop pop. Yeah? Still tired though, aren't you? Yeah. Do you want to say hello to some people on the camera? Can you say hello? Hello? Andre's just uh, licking my fingers now for those that are listening. He's yawning. I like it when I go like that and I pull him up upside down and he looks around. Look how big he is. He's put a, quite a bit of weight on for the winter. He's definitely ready to hibernate. Okay, I'll let him go down. He wants to go and have some dinner, I think. Go and have some food. So, uh, Sebastian wants to know if I'm breastfeeding him now. No, I'm not. But thanks for asking, and thanks for participating. It's always a, it's always a pleasure to have you on board. So this is, I'm just looking at my uh, laptop. So I was looking at some of my books from my book collection to see what kind, maybe perhaps reading some of that stuff, some uh, of the books and it would be maybe nice to for people to listen to that and drift off to me just reading stuff but nearly every book that I looked at says at the beginning you know in the uh, copyright bit that you can't <clears throat> you're not allowed to record any of it even verbally which is a bit of a shame because I thought it'd be quite nice for me to read some of the books that I want to read. I get the benefit of having read them and you could get the benefit out of being completely 
being bored and being sent to sleep by me reading them. But, uh, and Sebastian's pointing out that uh, it's windy, he's questioning. I was talking about the wind outside of my room. So thank you so far for those people that really have been getting in touch with me lately, uh, asking for uh, you know me to do sessions, and also for the I've been getting a lot of positive uh, compliments, uh, some really useful feedback from people that have. Uh, telling me that they're enjoying listening to my sessions and watching my videos. Um, not just those people from the past. I guess we're all from the past, aren't we? You know, technically we're all time travellers moving forward through time. But there's people that have been watching me uh, and following me online since the early days and you know sort of maybe sometimes eight nine ten twelve years ago and the occasional person pops up and says they well, don't literally pop up I mean that would be strange if suddenly someone appeared in my living room but they they do sort of send a message on YouTube saying oh um, I've been listening, I've been watching your videos for years and years and years and thanks for all you do or sometimes it, the message might be hello, sometimes that, that's it, other times people put messages just sort of uh, just thanking me, just saying thank you for what you do and you really helped my son um, a few years ago for you know it's those kind of things that is what gives me some pleasure actually is feeling that what I do what I've been doing what I continue to do whether it be these uh, incredibly boring let me bore you to sleep sessions or whether it's some of the other videos or mp3s that I produce on other subjects such as the recent ones that I did uh, yesterday and the day before um, I did one which was a request for uh, overeating things like that I also did a relaxation session which was I think called relaxation healing and safety but that was just an mp3 that's not a video so um, at the moment it seems that when I make a video such as I kind of do it a few different ways of doing it. I'll make a, a live stream like this, record it live either on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. I could also do it on Twitter, I suppose, and other platforms, but Facebook seems to be quite a good place to go. Um, also, I want to just acknowledge uh, Sebastian telling me that he. Uh, Sebastian loves Andre. Andre loves Andre loves his uncle Sebastian. And so if I do the live videos here now, the live streams, when it's finished I download the video from Facebook. I post the video onto my YouTube channel. I also extract the audio 
and upload that to my podcast on SoundCloud and then it goes on to iTunes and various places. Then I upload, I download the video, yeah, I upload the video and upload the MP3 onto my website, making them available to download for free. And on each of those pages, I also, I embed the SoundCloud player on the MP3 download page and the video download page, I embed my Vimeo video because all my videos are uploaded to Vimeo and they're on private so you can only watch them if they're embedded in my website. So that's something that I uh, do when I do the live streams. When I make a video separate, like I did last night, and it was a 54 minute video, I think, and that was the request that I did for Claire, and I ended up spending about, it took about five hours to upload to YouTube, which was an amazing amount of time for, I mean, I don't know how many gigabytes worth of uh, video there was, but it was a lot. It took a long time, it took hours and hours and hours. And during that time, I couldn't use the, the phone at all. I just had to leave it plugged into the plug, uh, you know, to the power. Uh, and it's a lightning socket because that's the, the iPhone lightning thing that goes in. I couldn't use the internet on the laptop because all the internet was being used to power the upload. So I was getting nothing at all on the laptop. And it uploads at something like two megabytes a second. It's really, really slow. So it's, as I said, it took quite a long time and once that's done, what I then do is I download, well, I do some editing, put in the details of the video and make it public. Then I share, I share the video. Then I download the video, which again takes quite a long time because um, to download it, even though it's a few gigabytes uploaded, YouTube then converts it into a much smaller file. So when I download it, it was about 570 megabytes. And that took quite some time to download because my internet speed was very slow today. I've ended up having to plug it in directly to the um, thingy. I can't use Wi-Fi because it's not strong enough it's just not working properly. And that's probably more to do with the laptop, possibly. So I download the video from YouTube. Then I upload that video to Vimeo. I extract the audio and upload that audio to SoundCloud and then share that amongst the different podcasts. And then I do the same as I did before. I make the a separate page on my website for the video and a separate page for the MP3 download. You know, so it's the same process embedding the uh, SoundCloud audio into the MP3 download page and embedding the Vimeo video into the video download page. So it's just uh, kind of more of the same in a sense, but 
a lot more time consuming because the biggest part of it is the uploading of the video to start with. I want to do a live stream providing the internet stays well and you know there's no interruption or anything like that it pretty much uploads fairly instantly once the recording's finished because it's uploading as it's streaming as far as I'm aware so all I need to do is download it from Facebook so all my videos the live streams all the videos pretty much that I've done in the past are saved as backup on my Vimeo channel uh, which I have to pay for but everything is set to private so you, no one can actually watch those videos except me and those the ones that are embedded in my website which is quite cool I paid for it for a year last year which was just over £200 and I uploaded everything that I had and then I I got rid of the yearly contract that I had with them and now I pay for five gigabytes a week but I've already got all the stuff stored so it's always added on so I've at the moment as long as I don't upload more than five gigabytes per week a video everything's fine and an hour-long video on Facebook is sometimes it's only like about two or three hundred megabytes so it uses up less than a YouTube video would make that you know megabytes wise now that's two of the ways I would do it. Another way that I would do it, or have done it, is I would just make an MP3. So I would record the audio using my recording studio, using a microphone, and uh, then I would use editing. At the moment, I've been using Audacity which is a free editing program, which is okay, considering it's free, although I did buy a, a professional copy of it, which was, uh, I had a CD sent to me in the post, and it's exactly the same as the free version. But hey, it was 10 pound, so I'm not quite sure why I bothered with that, but. And then what I do is, I kind of cut off the beginning bit and then I edit the end. It's the only really bit that I edit unless uh, there's a particularly uh, unexpected noise from somewhere. So I suppose if this was a an audio, I probably would have edited, edited out the sound of me opening the can of Coke. But because it's going out live and because I'm lazy, I won't be editing anything. And that's one of the things about doing the live sessions because it means that I have to behave myself. Not that I would not behave myself, but just means I need to kind of watch what I say, possibly, I don't know, not that I would really say anything that was that's not supposed to be said, but it also puts me on the spot, it also lets people know that what I do in videos, what I do in audios, is really just me being me and there's no rehearsal how could you rehearse for this i mean you know i know the 
some of the other stuff I do is more focused and has a particular purpose for example let's say relaxation or reducing pain in someone's knee for example so that that's a particular focus this is more of a broad focus of boredom so it's broader but at the same time it's also focused but in a very vague way so when I make the audios what I used to do is I used to add a picture to the audio so I'd, I'd get the video editor I'd add I put the audio track on I'd add a picture of a flower or of a tree or you know of a, um, a nice beach with the Sun something like that and then sort of add some text you know relaxation blah 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 and then upload it edit it you know uh, and then upload it as a video onto YouTube but now I don't do that anymore I only upload videos where it's an actual video like this where I'm moving a moving picture as it were and tell you what's funny when I, when I make these videos when I do these live streams uh, the amount of people that come and go is it kind of it does make me think that it must be really strange you come on there have a look at and you see this bald bloke with glasses talking about nothing and people must think what on earth earth is going on he's just talking non-stop and just like why why would he shave his hair off he had such lovely curly hair but uh, there again people might not know that I had curly hair well that wasn't really curly it was curly ish always gets to a certain length and it starts going curly I used to have curly hair, a lot curlier when I was younger. I think it's uh, one of those things really, isn't it, with hair. <laughs> and I, as I watch the screen, when I do these Facebook things, I just watch people disappear, then come back, and then disappear. And even though I'm talking, I'm kind of logging in my head how long it is before the next person just disappears again and I sort of have this little fantasy in my head of people thinking what on earth's going on what on earth but uh, let me have a look I'm gonna go on Facebook on my web my laptop and have a look to see if I'm on there and how long I've been on there for let's have a look so I've been 33 minutes I've been on here it's a bit foggy in here again isn't it it's a bit looks a little bit foggy a little bit uh, I'm just gonna wave to myself I'm gonna see myself wave in a minute as I look into the uh, laptop yeah, there it is, I'm waving now. It just shows you the the distance of time between actually doing it and it actually showing itself. See, I'll give you an example. I'm now gonna, um, I'm gonna move my glasses. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six seven 
So seven, about seven seconds between doing it and actually seeing it on the screen. Which to me isn't live. That's seven seconds. Seven second delay. So someone reacted to my uh, thingy. So yeah, I've got a couple of people. Janika, 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 Janika. That's a nice name. Janika, Janika. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's got to be, or it could be Janika, Janika, or Janika, Janika. Rachel, that could be Rachel, Rachel, Rahe, Rahe, Rache. We've got Bonnie, that could be Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. That could be a new thing, couldn't it? I could just be saying people's names as you arrive. It could be like one of those, what is it, the, um, I saw something on, on the internet. I think it's like on YouTube. And I think it was a, a Facebook, it was a documentary, basically. And it was about some young, some of the younger people that do live streams. And I watched this live stream I don't I actually went to the page to have a look and see them I think it was on YouTube but it was a live stream and the whole thing all it consisted of was this young girl I say a young woman probably 20 whatever and the whole time she was just saying thank you to each person as they came on to the page as the their name came up on the page and that was the entire video. Admittedly more interesting than this, but you know, this isn't supposed to be interesting. But the whole video is, uh, it was like, hello Rachel, hi Jenica, hi Bonnie, hi Sebastian, <laughs> hi, you know, just, and that was the whole thing. The whole video was just saying hello to different people. And she got paid for doing it. People were sending her money and it's like wow if I discovered the internet when I was younger which everyone has because I was younger when I discovered it but if I was being a teenager when I discovered the internet I do wonder how different my life would have been well firstly I would be a billionaire because I'd have discovered the internet but you know had I been born with the internet or you know like a young person. Imagine how amazing that would be to have access to the world in, in some ways, like knowledge to how would that be? How is that? We have that, but there's so much stuff there, which is amazing. But I probably don't make use of the internet in the way that I could because as a producer of my stuff, I spend more of my time uh, uploading and making and promoting whatever of my things that I don't get um, probably as much benefit as I could from studying because I've got, I'm a member of a few different websites. One's called Allison. Udemy, um, Calm. There's a few websites that are really good for education. And you can do online courses in pretty much anything. Uh, I've done a few courses in mental health, psychology, done some courses in web design, things like that. I just, I'd like to do more of that. But the 
making videos and all the stuff involved in this is very time consuming. It takes a lot of time to, you know, even just working on my website. That's a never ending job. It's constant. I've been changing the images on the MP3 and videos on for the products on my website. All free, by the way, to download, but the not the images, the actual products. But just doing that, because there's what seven, eight hundred products, and it's just never ending. It goes on and on and on and on. And it's just you know, and then there's designing the next image and uploading that, and just uh, and then finding an error on the website and I need to change it and upload a new audio and maybe there's a, a stream that's not been embedded correctly and it's just it's, it's a lot a lot of uh, stuff to do I need I need an assistant <laughs> I need an assistant please assist me so this is the 57th let me bore you to sleep and I think I should do a I should do a special 100th edition it won't be before Christmas because there's only three weeks left no five weeks five weeks and it was five weeks and one day so it's actually five weeks until Christmas now so I'm not going to be, uh, I might do a special Christmas edition, I don't know. I don't know if anybody, the internet actually is very quiet at Christmas. Facebook, there's certain times of the year where, certain days of the year where Facebook seems to go quiet as far as people not responding to messages or not really uh, you know getting that involved one is Christmas there's the standard happy Christmas but other than that I think less people seem to go on Facebook at Christmas then there's and YouTube's the same as well I've always noticed over the years that the various YouTube channels I've had Christmas Boxing Day, it's fairly quiet. You know, people are, I suppose, busy. They're having fun and doing their thing, spending time with whoever they're spending time with. On another day is Thanksgiving in America. That's quite a quiet day on Facebook. There's the, as I said, there's still the Happy Thanksgiving messages, but other than that, everything seems to be a bit quiet and as most of my the people that like what I do most the majority of people from America so those holidays things go a little bit quiet I'm gonna turn this laptop off it's so noisy Can you hear that it's overheating I wasn't even noticing it until just then. I'm so used to it. And so I need a new laptop. That's the bottom line. What I do need is a really good laptop, like a an iMac, something like that. Because then I'll be able to make videos with the laptop. I'll be able to make, make, maybe make a video with the laptop, stream it on Facebook and stream it on YouTube at the same time. I'll be able to make a video on the laptop and transcribe what I'm saying using the phone 
at the same time. There's things like that that would be really, really useful. But then I'd be able to edit the videos and make really flashy videos. I'd be able to edit the audio a lot better than I can at the moment. Because whenever I try and do something that uses software using this laptop, it just overheats. It's not, it's, it's really, it kind of turns into a, a do not compute, do not compute. And I don't know why. Because it's supposed to be a fairly decent laptop, but it's, and I don't like to be cruel to it because it's, 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 a, it's a lovely thing very smooth and it's this eight gigabyte RAM. I know it's not huge, but it still it should do the job, but it's just overheating all the time. It switches itself off for some reason. And uh, so I need to get myself the tools for the trade. And I don't have everything I need because as I said, what I'm doing now is I'm doing this on a phone. And I know that the cameras on phones now are on a different level to what they were a few years ago. The, the quality uh, is really good. Uh, the lighting in here isn't wonderful at the moment because it is the middle of the night. So I've got a light over there and I've got a light out there. I'm thinking I could get a light thing that goes behind the camera, but behind the the phone, which would make it a bit brighter, which I can get if I if I want to, maybe in the future. Janika, again, I'm not sure if I said it right, says clean the fan. Sometimes it helps. I c oh, you mean like with a vacuum cleaner or something? With that. That's the, okay. I've only actually had the laptop for three weeks, I think. So I can't, it was reconditioned. I got it from Amazon. It's an Amazonian one and it's reconditioned. It's HP. Uh, which is quite a good make. It's one of the best reconditioned ones that I could find. But, um, yeah, it's just, I, I thought, because it's exactly the same version as what I had before, but that didn't overheat as much as this one. This seems to overheat within minutes of me turning it on it starts buzzing and which means I could never I could never make an audio so if I had a microphone connected to USB into the the thing or if I had a, a like a camera you know like a webcam as you could probably hear because I forgot I, did, I forgot that you could hear it because I'm used to the sound but it's very loud it would be no good for a hypnosis session. Imagine sitting down thinking, right, now I'm gonna relax. And you have it, sounds like someone's just started some kind of a lawnmower going, it's, you know, it's not, not ideal. It's a hovercraft going past. So I need something that's a bit more, I'd like to get a bit more up to date. I feel I'm up to date phone wise, although this is last year's version. I uh, got it on a contract and I paid the contract off. So I now own the phone, no longer got a contract with a telephone company. But I could do with, I guess I could do with a newer version because every, every time I do a new version, the camera's better. The unfortunate thing with iPhones is the audio isn't very good as far as uh, the microphone. 
when uh, it's okay for like telephone calls but not very particularly good for making videos so I've got this microphone with a little battery pack that's with an adapter so that it's because the the phone is all the way over there it's not close at all well it's not a long way away but it's not it's not in my face you know and that was the only way that I was able to make videos where people could hear me clearly is by being quite close to it and I don't I don't wish that on people I think it's unfair for to people to to see me too close up it's not I don't it's not it's a bit of a nightmare I think it's not it's just unfair it's a bit cruel so you know imagine it's like it's you know so that's why I try and keep it a little bit a little bit far away plus it scares me a bit as well so I like to hopefully the the sound is clear enough this microphone is specially built or not specially built but it's one of the few ones that works well with live streams although as I say that I just realized I haven't put my phone on do not disturb so if someone was to phone or if I got a text through or anything like that it would disrupt the whole broadcast however it's early hours in the morning so I'm likely not to get such a thing but I'd like I really love to have a, a decent laptop with well not even lap but even a, a desktop would be fine but laptops just seem to be an easier way to go but something like a Mac Macintosh Mac book whatever they called so that I can then start to do better quality stuff I could even do live sessions with people maybe one-on-one -on -one, maybe on Facebook or whatever because at the moment I could do a live one-on-one -on -one with someone but I wouldn't be able to hear you you could hear me I'd have to have the headphones in with a, a different kind of it's just not the same and it's also a tiny little screen with my eyesight I can see myself but it's not good enough to it's you know it's ideally it'd be you need to have it on a for me I'd need it to be on a proper screen a laptop screen where I could see the person that I was maybe working with or talking to so yeah that's that's what I'm I'm asking Santa Claus for this Christmas I'm not sure if he's gonna provide to be honest and the thing is well that's a weird noise but the thing is I don't want the laptop for my own enjoyment because I don't I only use the laptop for producing videos and audios and that stuff anything else I use I watch on television so internet television uh, like uh, movies and Netflix and those kind of things that's all in the television so I don't need the laptop for that you know I've got my old uh, dongle I've got three actually that I can use uh, that plug into the television so hi Donna so it's it's uh, Abby we get all these people they go in they come in they go in they come in they go in so I'm just talking about uh, for those that just just joined I was just talking about the uh, the time that uh, I became woke up and I was three three inches taller. I couldn't kind of figure out what was going on, and realised that it might have been something to do with the the spaceship outside. Oh, those people have gone now. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. So. For me, the laptop's not a toy. 
it's it's a it's a tool it's a tool to to work with but what I'm working with now is kind of primitive to what I need I need something with a lot of power to because with video editing something like this this would maybe take I can do a video lasting an hour and for that to be rendered if I did all the editing using editing software it could take five six seven hours for it to process to render and to be sorted but on a fast computer it might take maybe half an hour maybe an hour for it to be sorted which is the difference between how much I can produce how many videos I can make how many videos I can upload and what kind of quality videos I can make and I would like to improve that that's what I'd like to do I've got a I'd love to do that, I'd love to, do, to make better quality videos. And I know that this is a bore me session, it's not, it's just me talking about nothing for an hour, but what's boring to other people sometimes is interesting to me. So even though it's a boring session, I still talk about stuff sometimes that I'm interested in, which would be the hypnosis service that I do and the sessions that I make and the tools that I use to make these sessions so it might bore people and they'll fall asleep thinking what on earth are you talking about and you just drift away and just like just give up trying to stay awake and here's me inside getting excited thinking oh what can I talk about now oh this is interesting so it's quite an unusual paradox, I suppose. So yeah, it'd be right, quite really good to have a, you know what I quite like to do? If there was such a thing where I could make a video, so I've got, I've got a message, I'm gonna read it to you. This is from Janica, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your word, your name wrong. In my opinion, sound is the most important sense in hypnosis sessions, and you have a perfect voice for that. I would rather have a dark background on screen for less distraction and better concentration. Ah, that's yeah, that's a good, that's a point. It's um yeah, I suppose I, c I don't have much going on in the background when I make videos generally. I've made a couple of videos in the past where I've been outside, and there's a few if you look at my back catalog of videos, you can actually you can trace all the different places that I've lived and worked over a 12 year period because I've done sessions in offices that I've worked um, in different places um, that I've lived and I've had various lengths of beards and hair during that time as well but I, I think in a way, I prefer not to make any videos ever and just do audios. But YouTube is a place where video is, well, clearly it's a video channel. Um, but I don't have, I could potentially make videos, some people that do uh, sessions they'll have like a, a moving image on the screen 
and just their voice so you won't actually see them as a person you won't see their face rather but you'll see like a swirling image or maybe a candle fluttering flittering fluttering flickering you know just a little bit so that can be I quite like that but I suppose in a way I like the idea of not hiding from the camera as well I don't I don't like necessarily being in front of the camera but I'm used to it so I've been doing it for so long but I don't as long as it's not distracting from uh, what I'm saying depending on what I'm saying of course in these sessions it's not a distraction because well it might be but really I would imagine that most of the time when people are listening to my videos they've possibly got their eyes closed anyway so it's in a sense it doesn't matter if I'm on camera or not but I, I like the idea of being able to be real and show to show the person that this is me you know I'm just a human being I'm not edited you know I've not when you watch me it's you can see it's even the pre-recorded videos are not really any different from this live video in a sense of the way that I'm talking the way that I'm gesturing if I am gesturing I don't know but the way I am is pretty much exactly the same and there's no editing so if you watch a pre-recorded video um, unlike so many maybe not hypnosis videos but a lot of videos on YouTube and they're doing it more on news as well I've noticed because I watch a lot of news the news channels and the broadcasts they edit it so that and I don't know why they do it but it's it's not there's not enough room for gaps between words anymore and I don't understand that because I think gaps between words is the only way that it can make a sentence and there needs to be a gap between the next sentence and the last one which is it's just the the way that my ears work I like there to be I don't expect everybody to talk slowly like me uh, to start talk, talking because I know I've got a friend who is he talks a hundred miles an hour he's a really close friend and I know that it must be frustrating for him sometimes when he's talking to me because I'll probably take I talk maybe three times slower than he does and he's I imagine he's just sitting there waiting for me to get out of my mouth what it is I'm saying but I've known him for a long long time and he's used to me and I'm also used to his speed of talking as well so I'm guessing I'd probably speed up a bit and maybe he slows down a bit to kind of combat each other or to fit in, not combat, but you know, to to uh, to mould together into a conversational piece of clay or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, I think the, I like to just, not do the editing in that way because I, I see some of these videos and I've watched them because it's good to do some research and I've seen a lot of videos where and it still is the same now where there's so much editing that it's not a proper sentence it's, it, it doesn't even sound like a real sentence like a whole you know beginning you know like this hello my name is Bob I have 14 cats living in my bag 
and one of them is called Henry, you know, so as an example. And sometimes it's nice to just, even if the sentence is a bit silly, it can feel nice to just know that people, it's like a real sentence rather than a, a pretend mix up of different things because I've spoken to my friend Sebastian about this and the hundreds of hours if not thousands of hours I don't know of audio and video that I produced he could put together a completely different video and audio pretty much making me say anything that I didn't really say, but just by cutting and slicing and editing different words to make different sentences, a bit like um, cutting words out of a newspaper and putting it together to make a completely different thing, you know, sentence or paragraph like maybe you see in the movies. So that's it really, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. So, Janica, have I said your name right, or is it Janika? Janika? I suppose it's going to be quite hard to answer that without saying yes or no. But then, yes or no to what? Which one? Might be completely wrong. Janika? Janika? I'm going to guess Janika, but I might be wrong. Janika, Janika, ja, ja, Janika, Janika, Janika. Ah, so is it Janika or Janika? Again, I'm just adding different emphasis on different parts of the of your name. So it's it's spelled with a J, but it's a Y. Janika. Yeah. Well, hello anyway, I'm, I sh I'm just trying, I'm Jason, Jason, I'm, I might, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a silent J now, it's going to be a Y, or a silent Y, Jason, yeah, Jason, that's quite good, it's only me and you here talking anyway, so, no one else is watching or listening live, but, although it does say there's more people, but I can't see anybody on the screen. The, um, how come you ended up staying? A lot of people that don't, that come on here that's never sort of watched me, not on Facebook, they just come and they disappear. I've got a few, a bunch of people that like to hang around, depending on what time of the day it is. I've got quite a few English, people but they're this time of the night it's a bit too late for them if I do if I go live at maybe eight or nine in the evening then I usually get a crowd of people from my country um, will come on and sort of say hello but when I do early hours of the morning it's usually people from maybe America uh, that come on maybe I guess Canada as well I suppose, yeah, but it's usually kind of America. I don't know what time, probably afternoon there, isn't it? Where you are, I, mean, I reckon it's probably six o'clock in the evening. Five o'clock in the evening, six o'clock. I know there's some, some parts of America, I think you're either seven hours ahead or seven hours, no, seven hours behind England, I think. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure. But when I first started doing this recording tonight or this morning, I did have a couple of people. Uh, one was from England and she's gone now, I think she maybe fell asleep or got bored or both, which is 
kind of what this is about. And my friend Sebastian from um, Germany somewhere. And he's, he was listening, but he doesn't seem to be now. Although, doesn't always show right though, because when I listen, I look back at the stats at the end of the Facebook stream, there's a lot more people having watched than actually shows on the screen when I'm, watch, when I'm doing it, which is a bit strange, I don't quite get that. But you can't really complain to Facebook because it's free, isn't it? You know, I thought, you know, if YouTube actually did a service, offered people that made videos a chance to pay a subscription, maybe £10 a month or something, to be able to upload videos and all that stuff, I think they'd probably get more Okay, I'm just gonna have a look. Janica Yannica says, I listened to your YouTube videos years ago and also introduced your videos to my friend. What is your friend's name? So I've had, uh, thank you for introducing my videos to your friend. I'm glad it helped her during her, her time needing help. Um, I've had quite a few people going through that situation in the past that have uh, reached out to me to ask for help or just to say, you know, thank you. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, every now and then I do hear people do contact me. Sometimes it's on these live streams, just like right now, and they'll say something like, like the last, I think a couple of weeks ago, uh, somebody said, I listened to your stop smoking session eight years ago and I've not smoked since. Another person said, I, I listened to your stop nail biting session and I haven't bitten my nails since. And it's quite nice to get that feedback, you know? It's, uh, it's I don't know, for me, it's, it's a nice feeling just to know that what I'm doing is useful. So Marina, where do I know that name? I know that name. I must have spoken to her at the time. Hmm. But I've had to, uh, it's nice to get feedback. The thing is with the internet, it's not always the feedback that you want, <laughs> when it, especially when it comes to maybe YouTube. The good thing about Facebook is that if you post things on your page on Facebook, it's usually for people that kind of know what you're doing or they're your friends or at least um, it's, they're unlikely to post horrible things because they can't do it anonymously. On YouTube they can do it anonymously and on Twitter. Um, so I think it's nice, yeah, it's, it's nice to get nice messages and comments. But at the same time, I kind of don't ask for them, but I do want them. And it is, maybe it's an ego thing. It's, it feels nice, but it also helps me to uh, appreciate myself 
and what I'm doing to know what I'm doing is useful because if it isn't useful what is the point of me sitting here in front of the camera making videos or making audios for so I'm at 12 24 so a quarter of my life over a quarter of my life I've spent doing this and it might seem like you might think the same but I'm not talking about just this session you might feel like you spent the quarter of your life listening to me talking about nothing during this recording but this live stream is not I'm talking about I spent a quarter of my life making videos and making mp3 downloads online it's quite a long time out of your life to do something a quarter of my life and as I age it's going to be more isn't it I suppose in another six, 36 60 <laughs> So when I'm 72, it will be half my life I'd have spent doing this. I was just about to work out how long it will be before I spent my entire life doing it, but it never will, will it? There's no way of... But So when I'm 72, I'll have spent half of my life making videos and audios and I'm 48 now and all being well I'll still be doing this in 20 years time 30 years time even maybe let's hope my voice holds up as long as I can talk even if I'm in a wheelchair or not able to get about if I can talk and you know I might still be able to do this stuff which would be weird I'll tell you the weird thing Yannicka is doing this stuff is seeing myself age <laughs> it's you know when I first started this I was young, oh, clearly I was 12 years younger 13 years nearly younger so there are, and now I'm just, it's just, you know, the aging process, it's just normal stuff, but I didn't used to wear glasses when I did these. I used to have hair, but I do shave my hair, do I do have hair, I just shave it off. If you watch a video of me from two days ago, you'll see me with a full head of hair and a big beard. So I got rid of that, because I just, it's nice to have a little, like a little, spring clean of my face you know just to get rid of some of the cobwebs so that's quite nice I'm not a big fan of how it looks for the first week but after a week it starts to grow out get a bit of a stubble back and it's all starting to grow back but then I start to look kind of less like a thumb with glasses so it's look a bit better, a bit more human-ish, kind of. So, I hope this was boring enough for those of you that have been listening. And because I haven't done a boring session, a lot of Let Me Bore You To Sleep session since probably about three, four days ago, I thought I'd just give it a, might as well do one, do it live as well, then I can upload it, and it's kind of already done, you know, uh, so I don't have to spend five hours uploading it like last night. But as I said, I'm gonna ask Santa Claus or Father Christmas for a decent laptop so I can actually broadcast quicker and edit quicker and do everything uh, and make it just more professional 
kind of, I think, it'd be nice. At least not to sound like I've got a, a speed car starting its engine. Did I say speed car? I really am showing my age, aren't I? Those speed cars. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna go to the, the moving pictures. No, it's, it's called a movie, it's a film. The flicks. I don't know if I'm getting older. I know I'm physically getting older. I don't know about the, the mentally getting older. Still, I feel I'm quite young. I'm very immature in some ways. I've got quite an immature outlook in some ways. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it comes with, it can come with just life experiences, I guess, what's going on at the time. I suppose. But I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna say bye to Yannicka. I quite like Janica. Can I call you Janica? Just joking, just joking. I know never to call someone by the wrong name. Oh. Oh, so. So you're laughing. What am I talking about? I haven't changed much at all. Yeah, but you're laughing though, so clearly I must have changed. From when? Two days ago or 12 years ago? Um, <laughs> so have you been, you was, were you around that long ago, 12 years? Anyway, I'm gonna bring this to an end because it's the end of this session. But you're all welcome, you're welcome to contact me privately if you want and I'm gonna go. So Shannon Casey is watching. I'm about to end this session and I know you just joined but you've missed probably the most exciting story you're ever gonna hear. It's, it's among the top 10 stories I reckon ever actually told online since the internet was invented. And it looks like Shannon's gone. She couldn't take the, the disappointment of missing such a great story. So I'm gonna go now. And Teresa is online, hello. I'm about to end the session now, the live stream, but I just wanted to uh, thank everyone for joining me and sharing in my wonderful life. And uh, have a great night, sleeping already. Okay, you have a great night too. And bye bye. Remember my website is jasonnewland.com where all of my videos and mp3s are available to download completely free. It's quite a good website actually. See ya.